So looking at Mendelian genetics, Mendelian genetics is about the inheritance of characteristics yeah. which don't blend. So you've got two parents and each parent contributed a set of 23 chromosomes. Now on those chromosomes you have about some 30,000 genes. Now those genes, that means you've got about a thousand on each chromosome. Now each gene exists at a position on a chromosome and that position is called the locus. So the gene locus is where, where something is. Now a gene, here is a gene which is the A gene. Now if you have, so if you have two copies then you are the same, you are homo in the zygote, zygus. So here you've inherited the big A copy of the A allele of the A gene yeah. from both parents. So these are chromosomes, so we have big A, and here we have the little a allele that's the version of the big A gene. Now the gene codes for a characteristic. Now one of the things that Michael was interested in, he was interested in the fact that if you have a genotype, so here this will show this characteristic because this is dominant to that, that's the recessive. This is dominant to that, that's the recessive. Now, so this will show the phenotype of big A, because it doesn't matter what this second allele is, it won't be expressed, and expressed means appear in the phenotype. Okay. The phenotype is the appearance of the organism, the genotype is what's in the genes. Okay. So Mendel was interested in the fact that you could breed together something that was phenotypically that and you could breed it with that phenotypically but in the offspring you could produce three offspring which would be that phenotype yeah. but one offspring that would be this phenotype. Okay. So he was interested in how that could occur. Now. He did a whole series of breeding experiments and what he worked out was that if you took something that was that, well, it may well be a heterozygote like that. And if you bred it with another heterozygote like that, then this is going to produce gametes and this is going to produce gametes. Now gametes are the results of meiosis. If you remember, meiosis involves taking that chromosome and that chromosome, yeah. then obviously you copy it, then they line up in metaphase, then they get pulled apart, because in meiosis it's all about taking a 2N cell and turning it into an N cell. So these are going to get pulled apart, which is going to give us this this in two separate cells which are then haploid and remember obviously the next thing is that these two then get pulled apart in the second stage of meiosis and that we produce a chromosome with the little a allele, another chromosome with the little a allele, a chromosome with the big a allele and a chromosome with the big a allele. Now I've tried here to show the connection between meiosis and forming the gametes. Yeah. If we just look at a simple uh, monohybrid cross, if we go this cross, then we do a Punnett square, the gametes are going to be produced are that and that. Mm -hmm. This is just the connecting meiosis, the two things. And then the gametes that we have produced are this and this, and then we fertilise them to give us that, and that, and that, and that. And what you can see from here is that these three are all going to show the dominant phenotype, yeah. and this is going to show the recessive phenotype.
Now this is monohybrid inheritance because it's an inheritance of one gene. Two alleles of one gene. Two alleles because you can have two chromosomes. Now, if I cross this with this, what damage is this one producing? The that one? So we put that into a Punnett square. How about this one? This layer. Right? And what's that going to produce? It's going to produce all of them are going to have that phenotype. Okay. That genotype and then that phenotype. So this is a uh, dominant homozygote with a recessive homozygote, a dominant homozygote, recessive homozygote, and it's all produced in this heterozygote. Okay. Now, Mendel's first law is that of a pair of alleles, only one of that pair of alleles goes into the gametes. So, okay. if you are, if you produce this one here, yeah. and if you then cross it with that, yeah. Mendel's first law, this is going to produce that gamete, and this is going to produce that gamete, and that gamete in an equal ratio. Okay. So if we then fertilize it, we will see that we get... When you say equal ratio, which means... So half and half. So half will have the big A, half will have the little A. So then we'll produce this and this. So half the offspring are going to be that phenotype, which is the recessive, and half are going to be that. Okay. Now the rules for alleles are that you name an allele after the character, the dominant characteristic. So if you had rough and smooth, then big R would be rough and little r would be smooth. But they have to be the same letter. You can't have R and S. Okay. It's big R. Now I like to use A and little a and big B and little b because they look different in upper and lower case. Mm -hmm. Whenever you do a genetics question, always do a key to show which letters you've used. Okay. So say this equals this characteristic and this equals that characteristic. Yeah. 